guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we are in. And today we are in Give Kids the World, going to Henry Starlight Scoops. And what are we doing, then? Today is pretty exciting. Today we are here for the ribbon cutting of Henry Starlight Scoop because we're celebrating the 35th anniversary of Give Kids the World. That's crazy. That is amazing. Now, if you guys remember, we've been here before. We came here for a night of a million lights. We weren't able to go there, but today they're officially opening. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I could barely find the words to say everything I want to say. We want to say thank you for them inviting us. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you, Carla, for just remembering that. But Coming thank you. here is literally just the best feeling in the world. And it's so yeah. fun to come over here. We, we feel humble, give kids the world. We feel humble to be here and we love coming over here. But anyways, we're gonna show you everything their opening ceremony. And we're gonna share with you because they have a special guest too. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. Somebody coming from where, Kyla? From NASA. NASA. Yeah, he's coming from the NASA because Starlight School basically yeah, was what? Yeah, the theme is outer space. Well, it's in the space. It's a space theme. Restaurant. Ice cream shop. Yeah. It's not a shop, it's cool. It's cool because Guess what? Kids get free ice cream. That's the coolest thing. That's cool. And it's cool, but it's not as cool as just coming here and having that feeling true. of of them helping children. Absolutely. So if you guys didn't know, uh, over here is nothing but full of people who volunteer the time to just give to this family. It is an amazing feeling. But uh, you guys already got some ice cream too, yes, right? Yes, we did. They're waiting over there. And if you're brand new around here, hi, this is your Cool Case Adventure family. And our main goal is to help you have fun when you come here to Central Florida and help you plan your vacation. Cause you never know with these two cute faces may help you do that. So if you're a brand new here, hey, welcome. Anyways, are you guys ready for the ice cream? Yeah, yeah. Are you guys ready to see this yes. uh, opening ceremony? Yes. Awesome, cause I am. So what are we waiting on? So let's go. So wait, mom, hit the intro. Mom, I know you're not here, but hit it. So I want to share with you guys how it looks like. Look at that spaceship over there on the top and all that. And a little bit of more information. You know, for 35 years, um, this nonprofit resort has delivered happiness and hope to critically, critically ill children and their families through week-long cost-free wish vacations. I mean, amazing. The new venue joins Northern Trees and Enchanting Castle and the world's largest game of Candyland in a storybook wonderland unlike any place Earth where, where the possibilities for fun and childlike wonder are as endless as the ice cream. Children with critical illness face countless appointments, treatments and hospital stays and they are often told no due to the limitation of their illness. Unlimited ice cream is an important part of giving wish children and their family a week of yes where they can forget their worries experience joy and spend priceless time together and just so you guys know disney universal are a really huge part of what you're seeing over here today i also want to share with you the henry starlet scoop is an accessible retro space themed ice cream parlor located here basically they will be opening from 7 30 to 9 30 here for the kids and their family and it was named for Give Kids the World founder Henry Landworth. That's where they get that Henry Starlight scoop from. Who managed the Starlight Motel in Cocoa Beach when it served as temporary home for the original, original Mercury 7 astronaut. Now fun fact this place is 2905 square foot building and it's 10 at 13 feet tall. More than 12,000 gallons of ice cream is served at the village in a typical year. 100,000 cherries and 4,000 cans of whipped cream. That's a lot of 
goodness. A lot of greatness over there. I'm just wondering, how's that ice cream? Delicious. They put so much in here. <laughs> Thank you. You're loving it? I love ice cream. Thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. And they have a lot of variety, right? Um, you can get ice cream with a cone, cup, uh, banana split, and shake. Oh, that's good. And, and it's not like really small. It's like big. And what do you got? Carla, what do you got? What flavor do you got? I got cookies and cream, but I have a brain freeze. A brain freeze? Yeah. Silly boy. Can't take him anywhere, right? For those of you that don't know, my name is Pamela Lambert, and I have the pleasure of being the CEO and president of Give Kids the World. I've been part of this amazing organization now for 29 years. But today we're here to celebrate the 35th anniversary of Gift Kids the World. 35 years ago, Henry was the uh, owner of the Holiday Inn Main Gate East, which is the very first hotel built outside of the gates of Walt Disney World. And so he was in his past and uh, so many children wanting to go to Disney for their wish experience. The wish granting organizations would often call Henry and say, hey, we can make all of the arrangements. Would you mind putting the family up for free? And of course, you all know Henry, he would always say yes. And then one day, his general manager informed him that a reservation for that evening had been canceled. It was for a little girl named Amy, who was from Virginia, and she'd been battling leukemia for quite some time. And unfortunately for her, time ran out, and she was not able to have her wish fulfilled. What he found was taking about two to three months for those wish rating partners to make all those necessary arrangements. There's so many to be made. And he's made a promise that he could streamline that. And that first day, he hopped in the car and he went over to visit some friends at Walt Disney World at the time, Diana Morgan and, and Dick Nunes, and got them to sign on immediately. And then he hopped in the car and went over to SeaWorld and met with Bob Gall and told him what was happening. And they both, on that first day, signed on. And so on March 7th of 1986, that's when Gift Kids the World was born. He started, he made a promise that no child who wished to come to Disney University would, that wish would ever go unfulfilled. And we've been able to keep that promise now for 35 years thanks to all of you here that are such wonderful partners to finally open Henry's Starlight Scoop. And it's been a long time coming. We were supposed to do a soft opening last March 18th and do our ribbon cutting on March 24th, but as we all know, the, the pandemic got in the way and had a lot of other, <laughs> threw a lot of things that might be wrenched into it. So today, we're so excited to finally do it. About five years ago, we started the concept, because you know, ice cream has played such a huge part at Give Kids the World. We have ice cream from 7.30 in the morning until 9.30 at night. So ice cream for breakfast is part of the tradition here at the village. And we maintain that even though we tore down our beloved ice cream palace to make room for Henry Starlight Scoops, we kept serving it in the gingerbread house, which is wonderful. And really the first time that we're very excited that Walt Disney World and Universal came together and partnered on a project. And I think that's amazing. And I think it's a testament to their belief that it's anything for the kids. We put all of our competitiveness and differences aside and come together to make something very special for the kids. Grace Colbert, um, she stayed to Give Kids the World in 2013 during her treatment for stage four cancer. She founded her first charity, We Can Serve, at the age of seven to help homeless, ill, and foster kids. So I want you to welcome someone who's been recognized by CNN, the CNN Heroes Young Wonder honoree, Grace Colbert. When I was seven years old, I was diagnosed with stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Being diagnosed was very scary and confusing. I had no idea what cancer was or what it meant until I had it. A couple months after I was diagnosed, I was contacted by the Make-A-Wish Foundation to start brainstorming some once-in-a-lifetime opportunities. When I realized having a sleepover with Selena Gomez was probably not an option, <laughs> I kicked Walt Disney as my wish. Preparing for this trip was so thrilling. My mom and I have spent so many nights looking at YouTube videos of Disney rides. But when we learned that we'd be staying at Gift Kids the World, we were completely amazed. The village was like nothing I'd ever seen or could have imagined. It was truly like living in a dream for me. So many beautiful colors, amazing food, friendly volunteers, and other kids who shared an unspoken bond with me. Swimming in the pool and having ice cream for breakfast. I did both. I'll never forget when it was karaoke night at the village, and I had been preparing to sing but got too shy to sign up for it. At the end of the event, when everyone had cleared out, team volunteers encouraged me to go on the stage and then encouraged me to dance. I actually did it. It was like a scene out of a movie, and I even got a participation trophy that I still have to this day. Former NASA astronaut Chris Ferguson. 
He's a veteran of three state shuttle missions and served as the commander of the final shuttle mission. My name is Chris Ferguson. I'm a retired astronaut. Um, I retired from NASA about 10 years ago, and I went to work for the Boeing Company. Uh, not far away from here at the Kennedy Space Center, where we're working on the next generation of space shuttles to send astronauts back and forth to the International Space Station. Uh, it's been a wonderful adventure for me. Uh, I've loved every minute of it, and as Pam had said, uh, I had the opportunity to, uh, to land the final space shuttle, uh, Atlantis, uh, almost 10 years ago to this day. It's hard to believe it's, uh, it's been that long ago, but it's been an incredible ride for me, and I, I say space is in my blood. Three, two, So I was talking to one of the staff members here and it's kind of great to hear that they, as of January 17, that's when they had their first family back here in the village. That's crazy. And it's exciting. And she told me it's in limited capacity. They're only doing about 25 families a week. That's still really good. Still good, still that's good. Still but imagine 25 families, they come here for an entire week. All expenses uh, covered. They go to theme park. park. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is one of our most favorite places to visit. And it's like when you come, when you come to your hotel, I guess you call it your room. Your village, it feels yeah. like you're still in the park. Exactly. Yeah, you, so, you got fun things to do, and you got some rides to do. I I feel like, you know, even if you go to their website, we'll put, we'll link their website on the bottom. If you want to donate your time to be a volunteer or if you donate in any other way, it's a great cause. You heard what they've been doing this now for 35 years. That's crazy. They have heard of, they have helped over 170,000 families. Hopefully one day Whoa. me and Kalo can volunteer like us as a family. Yeah, we have to yeah, come and volunteer as a family most definitely. I just love being part of this. So anyway, if you find any value in this content, please make sure you hit that like button. So you can see cool things like this. Exactly. If you're brand new over here, make sure you subscribe. Make sure that you're subscribed. And smash that like button. Exactly. And share. Share this video to help uh, give give kids the world. Um, uh, let's help them out. Just share this video. So much. Appreciate you guys over here. Look at look at the astronaut outfit. I just love it. I know. I, to Mars. I, I know he can make it up there. Yeah, that, that will be historical for sure. <laughs> I just want to show you guys this from Harry Lambert. The founder, look at this. Awesome memory, memory of course. Yeah, you can come over here and get whichever ice cream you want. We're gonna have moon rocks. Moon rocks. <laughs> that comes from the moon. It comes from the moon. That's exciting. Even if you have ice cream already, they still let you get more. And, yeah. and you're loving that part because even though you had ice cream, which you did, you can get more. Yeah, we yes. came at the beginning and then we came again now. And then he was like, wait, but you guys already have ice cream. Right. But do you want more? So Chris is But that's, that's part of. That's part of uh, Give Kids the World, the yeah, tradition, yeah, Jess have, Ice Cream. It's a Jess Ice Cream. Yes, and you can have ice cream in the morning. Ice cream breakfast. Ice cream for breakfast. Wouldn't you guys be excited just to have ice cream just for breakfast? Yes. Oh, I bet you would. That should give you an idea. <laughs> that should give you an idea? Yeah. Oh, okay, amazing. I'm even enjoying the process of them making ice cream. Look at the amount of toppings that they have in there. Wow. I just want to show you guys the other side of the decoration. Look at this. Kids Village. How they own Kids Village? So you can find all this memorabilia over here. I also want to show you the dining room and the house decorated inside. It's pretty cool though. They also have a topping bar over there as well. All right, so we're heading right now to Amberville. I like how he said, go ahead and push all the buttons. Be a kid and push all the buttons. And see that I love this place already. And while the kids are pushing all the buttons, I just want to show you, look at the trains. The Ferris wheel. 
I, I see we keep pressing buttons. Let's see what happens. Look, look at the planes over there going all over. Sirens going on. Man, I'm loving this place already. Look, the Skyliner over there, Kalel, is going. Kyla, this is the only time I'm gonna you're gonna hear from me to go ahead and push the buttons. Yeah, look at this. The train's coming. Look, look. That's amazing, guys. You gotta hit the start. So let's get started. Okay. And you got my you, number two. Yeah, you got your own boat. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm moving. Look at you, Kyla. Your own game room too. Look at this. Wow, you got Pac-Man, you got Xbox, you got bowling. Check out, check out this, this over here, this uh, games over here. And this is where you pick up your golf club for the mini golf that they have in here. Check this out, guys. This is the mini golf, all about dinosaur, and that's where we are right now. Check this out. They, they even have a cave. That's hole four. See, one of the things that I like about uh, Give Kids the World is that they do have all this. It's like a mini fair. They even have, you're looking over there, they even have the handicap access over there. And of course, Kyle and Kalo have done this previously. So they, they actually love this one. Bye, kiddos. We just want to show you guys really quick here at the pool they're actually refurbishing i mean they're actually building a pirate ship and here's what it's supposed to look like so when they're cool. done so it says over here coming soon look at it oh my god i want to be here guys look at Look at the construction side of and the fun thing fire of, ship. The fun thing about it is we saw this on Christmas and we were like, what is this? I know, now we know. Now we know, yeah. So now, now we're going to check out one of the village as they're in the process of refurbishing them. Welcome home. Give kids the world village. Where happiness inspires hope. Six or one half dozen wow. Look yes. at this. And how are you all today? Good. 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 Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good, you guys enjoying yourself? We are, thank you for you having us. ice cream? We've actually already approved this and actually gone ahead and started towards ordering furnishings. It's okay. gonna take a while. We're gonna be doing this in February next year. February 20th through the 27th. Okay. We're gonna be renovating 142 villas in seven days. Wow, 142 villas. All in seven days. All in seven days. And we're taking everything else in here out and all the new stuff come back in, all new wow. paint, all new carpet. Yeah. All right, so we're heading over here, oh, and as you can awesome. see, they, they, they said they were gonna just take the carpet off, and that's how it's gonna look like from this. Although it looks nice it as look it is, yeah. but look at this. It has a closet. We're right across from the bathroom. How pretty the bathroom looks like. This is a shower. Pretty nice. So it's twin bed, yeah? So we're gonna go from this look to She's this happy. look over here. That does look really cool. Wow. Pretty. And it's pretty spacious though, right? And an extra bed. You got a closet over there. And there's an extra bathroom with a tub that looks more like a jacuzzi almost. Yeah, like a jacuzzi. Yeah, but look at this one. This one is like, it's kind of heartwarming. Uh-huh. Like, for people with wheelchairs, they have a chair here. Yes. So that way you could also take a shower. Right. So man, they make it handicap, handicap accessible. It's a pretty decent shower. So you guys just got our first look of how the new villas are going to look like. It looks amazing. It's, it was two bathrooms, two bedrooms. Really good, man. I'm excited for what the future brings in in here Hello, we back. all right so we hope you enjoy this adventure oh my god it was super fun it to see the fun. village see yeah. where kids can play and all that but anyways sadly this adventure has ended with that said we want to remind everybody to subscribe and smash that like button and turn that bell for notifications bing 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 and feel free to comment down below or remember to 
smile out, be great. Be cool. And stay awesome. See you guys in the next adventure. Bye, Bye guys. guys. Boom. 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 See ya. Do it, guys. Do it. Bye. Bye. Bye.